What's up, everybody? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing you in Mafia 3. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. <laughs> Hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. <laughs> I like that old film. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, that whiskey's going to in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm going to take the basement. The basement? Why the fuck you want to crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. We barely have two nickels to rub together, and now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, open I'm your not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. 
No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Warm Hearts Neighborhood Kitchen. Please for Mardi Gras. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. Cool. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Serve the gumbo. With pleasure. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, shut. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. <laughs> hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Megan, we got sure. trouble! Run, Regine! Oh my god! Oh what are we done with you, Lincoln? Sammy's dead! Get out of here! You got living to do! He's cool. Don't screen. think about it! Shoot him! Oh, oh that'd be a shame! Oh my god. Today's the day you'll die! I don't think so, buddy. Go oh him. no, you will die. Man, those takedowns, though. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. And those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians. It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Good idea. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. 
I'll follow your lead. Be careful here. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. All right. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite hostilité. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Just drop in there. Teams. One's gonna hit the bar, the other's going out. The Perlis. The boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Semi, we're doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man is dead. Him, Ellis. And the other one, Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This time he won't get away from us. Alligator just fucking eat the guy. No one gets away from me. There you go. There is alligators in the water. Jesus Christ. Don't fall in there. Oh, fuck. Never mind some of those crackers they were offering. Put them in the water. Bye bye. I'm happy I didn't get eaten when I fucking swam there. Pick a new spot. It is not very it. The game doesn't let you, it lets you be stealth, but at the same time, it's it tries to take you out of. Uh, of stealth very quickly by doing this stuff here like for some reason they just know to go into this direction ah! like shooting fish in a barrel almost Going after the hollow. 
The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. All right. You can't take a show. You fucking pig. Damn you to hell. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me. Use me. I killed you, motherfucker. You and your entire goddamn family. He's dead. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over. Yeah. <laughs> over. <laughs> Is never going to be over. Pajam! I don't fucking hate I don't understand Creel. Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? We came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let. <laughs> Let's get back to Sammy's. That's a good one. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on them. With them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. No matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God, we all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that mm. day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something not we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. I'm at Sammy. Thank you so much guys for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel like always. Uh, I really appreciate that. And it shows me your support, of course. Uh, follow me everywhere, me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and right here, youtube.com forward slash me, Time Gamer. I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. But thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.